Hi guys, welcome to this Rocket Cake tutorial. Our theme in this video will be publishing your website. First of all, let's see how we publish to local disk. Here is the icon for it. Now, before we do that, I show you my method. I use Rocket Cake with Total Commander. Here it is. So when I start a new Rocket Cake site, here I create a new folder, my new site, and here I create two new folders. One is assets. Here I put my picture files and uh, whatever I do with the graphical software and whatever I just need as I go. The other is uh, I call this www, you may call it HTML if you like. This is where I will publish the HTML files, the sites. Okay, let's go back to Rocket Cake. Here I like to change in the options, I like to change this to just simply images. That's more generic. Okay. So now I can save the Rocket Cake site. Here it is, my new site. My new site. And I like to start with 01 because as I go on building the sites, it's uh, good to have backups. So I go on and do 0, 2, 0, 3, whatever. Save. Sign so total commander. Here is my new site, 0, 1. And uh, so I publish my site here. I just find it. My new site, www. I choose this folder and I say OK. Let's check it. Yeah, here is my site. I can check it here. It's empty. So let's do something here. Let's bring in a container. Let's bring in another container. Hey, let it be 30% blue. Save. Publish to disk. Overwrite. Yes. Here it is. That's quite simple. Now the question is how we publish our website to the internet. It's this button that I actually never use. But anyway, we will look into that. First of all, you will need a web hosting provider to give you the place where you will upload your website and you will need a domain name. This doesn't have too much to do with the uh, Rocket Cake itself, except that uh, you make your website with the Rocket Cake, but just quickly let us take a look in, into that. Let's say web hosting and, well, best web hosting services for 2021 and the number one offer is HostGator. Well, you always want to check the prices, starting from 264 per month. That includes uh, one-year domain registration. 
you can have this SSL secure. Uh, so, so you can have this HTTPS beginning. So you can check this out, what it offers. Host veins starts. 524 per month A2 hosting Wow Seems more expensive Dreamhost Starting here, what's the offer? Anyway, you can do your homework. So let's check out HostGator. Get started. Usually the cheapest plan is enough with Rocket Cake. Rocket Cake makes very small files. They can run fast, they can be downloaded fast. So let's say buy now. Search for a domain name. My new rocket cake website dot com whatever. Do the work. Pay the money and then they will give you a domain name and a place to upload your website. Now after that they will send you an email and in the email you will need three things. Let's go back to Rocket Cake. So the three things that you will need is the FTP connection, FTP stands for file transfer protocol and uh, it will look probably somehow something like this ftp dot I mean your your website dot com something like that they will give you a username so it will be let's say you the user and they will give you a password. I just wrote password here. So if you have this then with this you will probably able to upload your website. It's good to save that password. Don't upload big files and only upload updated or new files. So if you click OK, then it will upload your website. Of course, this will not do anything because the things that I wrote here are not real. Now I want to show you a real uploading that I will do on my website using Total Commander. Here is my website on Holiness and uh, it looks somewhat outdated with this small brown banner. So I've made a new, mm, I think more up-to-date looking website. My suggestion is that you would update your websites every year. The trends are constantly changing, so after two, three years, a web page can look very outdated. So I think that if we refresh the look of our website every year, we are basically okay. 
So here is my new site. And I go to Total Commander. This is the saved website. So what we do with Total Commander, you can connect to the FP, FTP. Here we go. Now I just show you if I want a new connection. It's the same thing. Session. Uh, you give a name to it and the host name will be probably something like FTP dot my rocket cake website dot com or something like that and the user uh, password and leave these clicked so when you received your email from your web host provider this is the stuff that you have to write and they will send all these things in the email and then you can say OK and then you can connect of course now I cannot because this new site is not real so I delete it. However my holiness site is real so I connect here and I like to have my my site on the on the right and uh, the website on the left so I con I'm connected and uh, usually the website is in the public HTML folder it's here so here is the old one here is the new one I like using Total Commander because I can see both sites and I'm in control of what's happening so I just copy all these and overwrite everything and probably I have some new images also I think that's it now let's check our original website Here we go. Okay. Well, the que the cache is still in, so let's check it on another browser. And here we go. We have we have the new site here. There is 2021 at the bottom. So this is the way to go. Well, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If so, I am very happy. Have a beautiful day and have a beautiful 2021. We hope for it. Okay, God bless you. Bye bye.